Hi everybody, Dave Yelovic with Homes Built Right. I'm up in the attic with my tankless water heater. We're gonna clean the heat exchanger. Stay tuned, we'll show you how we do it. We have a tankless water heater. You can go online and buy a, a few kits or something, but let me tell you just basically what you're gonna to need to do this. One, we're gonna need a couple of hoses. In this case, we've got uh, a kit that sent us a couple of basically uh, washing machine hoses. So you need two hoses. You'll need a recirculator pump. One of those hoses is going to hook up to that and we're going to circulate a cleaning solution through this. And then obviously we need a bucket. And in this case, here's a thing I bought online. Uh, it had the, the bucket, it's got the cleaning solution, and it's got the pump and the hoses. And again, you could use a cleaning solution like uh, what I bought online or you could use things like uh, vinegar. It takes uh, more time to flush the system afterwards. So that's what we need. And uh, so what do we do? Let's see how we do it. When we first get started, depending again on your manufacturer, they may say to turn off the power, which is simply just unplugging the unit uh, from the power. And there are some that say you can leave it plugged in. I'm choosing to have it plugged in so when I flush the solution through, it will heat up that solution. And I've been told and I've read that that helps clean the system a little better is to have the warm solutions like warm water for cleaning dishes. The next thing so we're going to do is isolate the water heater from the rest of the house. And to do that, just two simple valves here. We've got the cold water coming into the unit and we've got the hot water coming out. What we're going to do is I'll take just a simple pair of pliers and we're going to turn off the cold water coming in and we're going to turn off the hot water going out. The next step is we're going to find out where do we hook up those hoses and actually very simple on this unit we've got a black cap covering the cold water connection here just unscrew that and here we've got a black cap over the hot water connection we unscrew that so we're going to hook up our hoses here and here and eventually we're going to open up these valves so the water can circulate but we can't do that now all right so I've got my two hoses. So very simple, like hooking up something outside. We're gonna take one hose, gonna hook it up here to the, in this case, the hot water side. Then we're gonna take the other hose and hook it up to the cold water side. This will be the hose that gets hooked up to the recirculating pump. I'm simply going to take my pliers, I'm gonna tighten these up. Alrighty, so our next step, let's grab our recirculating pump and again it's got a hose connection on top. All I'm simply going to do is hook my cold water line into here. Then I'll snug it up with the pliers and this is what I'm going to put down into the bucket in just a minute once I have the water and the solution in the bucket. Then we simply plug this into my outlet over here and this eventually will circulate the solution throughout the water heater. What's next? Alrighty, I'm going to take my water bucket that I've got here. I'm going to place it down here at the bottom of the water heating unit. I'm going to take that other end of the hot water hose and just put it in the bottom of the bucket. And what I'm going to do is open up the hot water line here and we're going to let the water drain from the unit down into the bucket by opening this up. And by opening the cold water side on this one, that'll let the water move. There we go. I've got a little water dripping down into the bucket. So I'll let that drain. Now I'm going to fill up the bucket with about a gallon of water. I'm going to add my solution and uh, we'll get this thing going. Alrighty, I got a gallon of water down here in my bucket. The uh, water is just barely covering the top of the pump. I'm going to add my solution into the bucket. And again, the solution should be just over the pump. You don't want the pump to uh, not have enough liquid to circulate. Now that that's in there, we're just about ready. So my valves are open. What I'm going to do is start circulating the solution through the machine for about 30 to 45 minutes. And uh, we'll be back after that, and we'll see what we got. All righty, so we've been here, uh, oh, 30 
30, 45 minutes, and this thing's been pumping and pumping and circulating. And just for fun here, I'll grab the camera. Let's see what we can see down here. Look in there. There is uh, quite a bit of scale floating around in there. And that's what we're trying to blow out. And uh, here's our hot water coming out. But uh, that's why we do this once a year. Alrighty, so I've dumped out all the slimy water out of my bucket down here. And uh, now I've put about a gallon of water back in the bucket, some nice clean water. And I've turned the pump back on. I'm going to let it circulate through the heat exchanger. And just kind of rinse out the parts and pieces. And then we're going to put everything back together. Alrighty, I've disconnected the little garden hose or the little washing machine hose from the cold water side here. I've closed the port that I opened earlier. And now I'm going to open the cold water port here to get some water going through the machine. But I've still got it coming out the hose here on the other side. I'm going to dump it into my bucket here so I can again clean out some more and just continue to flush it and get it clean. So open that slightly. And there's hot water coming out of the hose and into the bucket. Yeah, a couple of gallons at a time, it's not that big of a bucket. We'll do this a couple times and we'll be ready to put it into full service. Alrighty, we've thoroughly rinsed it after we've descaled it. So now it's time to put everything back together. I said I've already taken the cold water hose off, now I've taken the hot water hose off. I've closed the service valve already. Now I can put the plastic cap back on there. Plastic cap is back on and then I will turn the water back on to the unit. And then I will turn the hot water back on so we can go back to the house. Well, that's it. We've, we've done it. We've descaled the unit. We've cleaned the heat exchanger and this tankless water heater. We're good for another year. We'll be back next spring for another round of maintenance. But until then, uh, hope you enjoyed it. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel. And uh, we'll see you on the next Homes Built Right.